Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo November 7, 2022. The moon transits your solar third house all day, and your curiosity is big, leading to interesting detours. Changes in routine can figure strongly, and it may be due to restlessness. It's all too easy to fall into the traps of procrastination. If you put too many options on the table now, you might end up spinning your wheels and going nowhere. When you're able to focus, your spirit and confidence increase. The desire to be productive strengthens and takes over. You're likely to find it quite comfortable and natural to pour extra thought, energy, and care into your ideas, studies, writing, and conversations, which earns you some warm attention. You are now in the midst of the eye of the storm. Eclipse season is often like a hurricane that kicks up cosmic dust upon your path. The first eclipse always brings shifts, yet you are forced to still march through into the eye. Right now, you may feel as if you're pausing, assessing your terrain, knowing that something else major is just about to happen. The second eclipse during this season always brings monumental news, as well. Creep forward as you continue to keep your wits and balance about you. Turning points are everywhere around you. It is time to act on your intentions. You might have been talking about what you want to do or who you want to work with while the moon in Pisces trines the sun, Mercury, and Venus in Scorpio. However, the watery trine may be more hopeful than intentional. Luckily, you can take a leap of faith when the moon sextals Uranus retrograde and the north node in Taurus. Instead of wishing on a shooting star or hoping a colleague may help, the sextal is your burst of inspiration to put your money where your mouth is. The moon's departure from your income sector yesterday has not only left you with a sharp nose for money but a better sense of where the money is as it wrapped up its first visit since Saturn's direct turn. A week after Mars' retrograde turn in your work sector, this leaves you with a better red on a sea change on both the income and job fronts and the positive impact this will have on the final two months of 2022. During the current transit you will feel unusual and positive impulses coming up this week. New ways of doing ordinary things will motivate you to get ahead and expand your horizons. Try applying this energy to your diet by looking into healthy recipes that use ingredients you don't usually feel willing to approach. If you do, you will enjoy your meals even more. For instance, instead of meat try making a meal with tofu. Instead of cream in your coffee try soy milk. The natural vibration of this day brings creative expression into focus. If yours is an occupation that calls for teaching, consider making this the topic of the day. Encouraging others to tap into their creative and artistic talents will naturally enhance your own as a matter of course. Search for ways to say what's on your mind or in your heart without spoken words, such as in writing, art, or music and share your ideas with those around you. Jupiter only retrograded back into your communication sector seven days ago, but the moon's first visit since his return and his only visit while the planet of luck and expansion is in retrograde motion is a chance to jump right in. While Neptune has been in retrograde motion here for months and there was already a chance to give the past and unsaid words a voice, as the largest and most powerful planet in the solar system Jupiter is able to put his full weight behind a push to get past old communication barriers. The moon's first visit to your communication sector since Jupiter retrograde back in is not just a chance to give your emotional responses but the past and unsaid words a voice. It is the moon's friendly aspect to Venus, the planet of love that will also make it easier to speak from the heart and to wear your heart on your sleeve. Our eyes in the sky. The day has a magnetically charged influence as the moon connects to Mars and Jupiter. This might create some extreme dreams or premonitions early in the morning. Because Mars and Jupiter can cause anxiety, this also could cause some tossing and turning or insomnia. The emotional energy slows when the moon enters Aries in the evening. Starting anything new now could be a challenge, and it might even work against you. The advice for today is to rest and take impeccable care of yourself. 
There's a major emphasis on giving yourself space and time to process your emotions as the lunar energy enters Aries. This is a day when you have to plan and create space to be alone to avoid confrontations. The universe is showing that you may be projecting an interesting image to others this week. Some may see you exactly as they'd like rather than how you actually are, but don't worry about it. Meanwhile, you're about to receive an important message about a new business or financial opportunity. Just make sure to return that call or answer that email. This week is a mixed bag for you. On the one hand, you have sudden, expansive energy affecting your sector of groups and self-employment, suggesting that you're thinking about turning a skill into a profitable business. On the other hand, your house of debt and other people's money comes into play. Don't borrow more than you can afford in order to get this business going. Spending time with family or loved ones could feel physically draining if you don't ground and protect yourself. Everyone's guard is up, and relationships could feel more like a job today. Arguments are possible if you're not careful. The moon brings out strong feelings of vulnerability, but try not to fight against the flow. In the pre-dawn hours, the Pisces moon aligns with Neptune, stimulating our imagination. If we are still asleep, our dreams should be vivid, if not baffling. If we are awake, we'll begin the day slowly, easing ourselves out of the liminal into our morning flow. Take your time getting going to avoid confusion and stress. We risk losing track of important details in haste, as we are sensitive and easily distracted now. You have plenty of moxie when it comes to making over your financial future. The universe could create issues between you and an institution, like your workplace, or between wanting to spend time in the office versus travel. One or the other has to give or else your money situation will be adversely affected. Proceed with extreme caution. This day lots of energy is concentrated in your relationships. You may be attending more events with your friends and professional acquaintances or networking in a new and creative way to benefit everyone. When considering new ways to earn money, don't count out working from home. It may be all you need now. After sunup, the moon squares retrograde Mars, creating a disconnect between our needs and our passions. On an emotional level, we wish to relax and take things slow. Yet, Mars in Gemini tugs at us like a restless child, prodding us to get in gear so we don't miss the action. With the moon in Pisces, we gain most of our awareness through our feeling state. We are extra sensitive to the world around us. Mars in square can create anxiety as we believe we should be in two places at once. We can become irritated with others as we compartmentalize in the hopes of streamlining our agenda. Expect a bit of discomfort, but don't take any passing moodiness too seriously.